guys, very quick intro here. Shout out to our Patreon producer, Alice, for making these videos possible. Oh my god, Alice, you're such a numpkin. Make sure you check out her links on screen. And make sure you check out our Patreon, guys. We are in sorely need of some more support this month to hit our goals. If you can, you like this channel, you're like, oh my god, I think they're such numpkins. Then throw us a dollar. It really does help out a lot and helps us hit our goals. Enjoy the video. It's a hidden object game. Is it because bullied me into checking out some of the cheesier ones? And this one, I actually thought was pretty good. So I hope you guys enjoy watching it. See you later. All right, guys, how's it going? It's Minx here. We are going to be playing some hidden object games on this channel. Uh, I've heard that some of the older ones in particular uh, are very, very, very bad and very enjoyable as a result. So I thought we'd check out some horror adjacent ones. We have Twisted Land Shadow Town here. This was recommended by Izik. He's sent me a big list of these. So if you like this and you want to see more, let me know in the comment section. Remember to like and comment if you can, guys, anyway. Let's check it out. Twisted Lands Shadow Town. This should be, hopefully, a bunch of these should be really cringe and really entertaining. Please enter our name. Minx, of course. These are all obviously mobile games that have been ported to PC. Oh dear. You were underwater longer than usual, Mark. Remember, it's illegal to hunt for treasure in the ocean. But just look at these figurines, Angel. They're well worth the risk. They fetch a good price. I've said my piece. Now start the engine so we can head back to shore. Yes, dear. I need to refuel the boat. And stop fussing. Everything's fine. Well, I guess we're doing the tutorial. This is your journal. It'll tell you what you need to do and provide hints that will guide the way. The owner of the boat said the fuel tank was full, but he was wrong. It's a good thing I always bring an extra can of gas. We'll fill the tank and head for shore. Okay. When you click certain items, they're placed in your inventory for later use. Click the funnel to place it in your inventory. You can move certain objects by clicking on them. Click on the bag and pick it up. Now move it somewhere else and click on it to put it down. Okay. Okay. Where else am I meant to be moving it to? Like, here? I can only move it a little bit. Oh, there's the gas can, I see. I had to move it out the way. There we go. Fuel up the ship. You can see my cursor, yeah, good. You can do things with certain objects. The cursor will change when you move it over an interactable object. Click on this object. Your mouse cursor will change to a magnifying glass when it moves over certain areas. Click here. I think we all understand how hidden object games work. Angel, where's the start key? I left it here. I put it in my purse. Who knows what might happen while, we're on the, uh, while you were underwater? Pirates sell these waters and a group of them might have seen us. Honey, you read too much adventure novels. I haven't seen any pirates around here for years. That doesn't mean they don't exist. Okay, okay, they exist and I'm one of them. So hand over the start key. Now. Alright, so it's in her purse. Let's go in without her permission. And then start the key. Excellent. Oh no, the key's broken. Perhaps I could start the boat without it? Oh shit. Search the highlight area. It may contain an item you need. Alright, so we have a tutorial on hidden object things. Find the objects on the list. I mean, I will say, a lot of the time when I play these, I always end up, like, just clicking on everything. And there's rarely a penalty for that as, like, a a thing that you do, you know, like, it's like, okay, well, it's not that big a deal, alright? Like, you know, as a hint, if you get stuck, I think I'll be alright, at least this early on. But, um, I did quite like hidden object games, just for the record, like, I don't think they're, like, the best thing ever or anything like that, don't get me wrong, but I think they're pretty decent, they can have some fun stories. We played, uh, a few, um, uh as like special events for patrons and things before, and they were pretty entertaining. Um, so maybe this can become a regular thing. If you guys would like to see these maybe a few times a month or something, then, uh, you know, let me know. Because I kind of find these relaxing, yet uh, hilarious at the same time. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. That isn't a teapot. I thought it might be a teapot. We need a feather and a teapot. And the problem you guys are going to have is, I'm going to be looking at this screen, right? And you guys are going to be like, oh my god, I can't believe you're such an idiot and you haven't seen this thing that is staring you right in the face immediately, every single time. Like, I cannot see this fish, this alleged fish that's meant to be here. And, um, I'm going to use the hint so we don't spend too long. Oh, it's... 
Well, not if it was a feather. This will come in handy. Knife. Excellent. All right, so we go here. I could remove the ignition cover with the knife. Well, let's do that. This doesn't seem like completely safe, but we'll go with it. Do you know how to hotwire it? Apparently you do. Honey, would you show me the figure you found at the bottom of the sea? I think it's valuable. Of course it. Here it is. We are such an alpha chad. Oh no! Horror! What just happened to us? We just... What is happening? Oh my god. Is it Dagon? <laughs> it better not be Dagon. It might be Dagon. But yeah, if you have recommendations of these guys, spooky ones, horror adjacent ones, then let me know in the comments as well, because I'm happy to play them, especially if they're really cringe. Dear God, what happened here? Angel! Angel, where are you? She's dead, dude. There's no other explanation. Our boat must have crashed, but where's Angel? Well, she's probably dead, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not actually looking at any of the object shit, I'm just clicking on everything. Oh. If I fuck up too many times, I die, it looks like. Okay, I've got to actually focus. There's the notebook. Alright. Okay. Yeah, there's like a Lovecrafty and tentacle thing I just realized here, so this is what we're going for here. Excellent. Can't wait. Playing cards, there we go. Coins is next. There's the coins, excellent. A step ladder. That's not the step ladder, but that is. A straw hat. Luffy? Oh my god. A uh, paintbrush. Hmm, there we go. A necktie. What? What? But I need to. This is a, the most important question here, right? Is why the fuck are all these things on this boat? Like, who was like, yeah, let's bring all these things. We really, really need a measuring tape, a necktie. Some of these things, sure. Like a fishing net? Okay, that's reasonable, right? I can understand that. And there is the fishing net. But some of the other things here, like the CD and a cigar and. I don't know, like, it just seems completely fucking useless. There's the necktie. Um, it's a very posh necktie, too. It wasn't just, like, you know, like, a fucking little one. It's like, yeah. All right, sunglasses. I see them. And there's the sandwich. All we need now is the measuring tape, and we are done. Could be a hard one to spot the measuring tape, though, I'm going to be honest with you. Mainly because I'm incompetent. Probably this? Nope, that's not it. There it is. Boom. Boom! I've got a step ladder. That'll come in handy, apparently. I mean, it probably will. The suitcase isn't ours. Someone else must be here. An angel's probably with them. All right, we need a code for something that we don't have at the moment. What do we have in this satchel? Okay. We've got a flashlight, a step ladder, and a... Oh, the snake statue from before. My laptop, it doesn't work, and I haven't had time to buy new parts. At least it's dry. Perhaps I can repair it here. I need a small strip of recycling. Perhaps, like, how is it not ruined? Beyond, like, irreparable, rep like, you know, repair needed. What the fuck? The fence is blocking my way. Angel must have washed the shore up there, though, so I have to find a way through. A cave, but it's too high to enter. Well, let's use a stepladder, first of all. To climb up into the cave and have a look up here. We got a key, 19. It's too dark to climb into the well. Who knows what dangers lurk in the shadows? Oh, we're going in the well. There was like babies' faces there. Where am I? What is this place? Holy shit. This is escalating rapidly. The snake figurine I found would fit into one. Okay, so I guess we need to find 27 snake figurines to open this door, right? Excellent. Well, I'll, I'll be back later on, game, but I do appreciate the gesture. Alright, so we need to find a lot of snake figurines at this point. A man's clothes? It looks like they've been here a while, but why? Did someone go down the shaft naked? They might well have done. That is a sentence, by the way. Did someone go down the shaft naked? Oh, there's another mini game here for something extra now. Alright, but with different items. Okay, well, that's okay. We can do that, probably. There's the eggs. God, the fucking music is fucking excited here. Holy shit. Okay, that's a flashlight. Ship's wheel. 
That is the ship's wheel. Unless you mean like, okay, if we're on a normal ship, why would we bring a fucking ship's wheel that's like for an old boat? I guess that's what it means, maybe? I don't know, but I really hope it is. All right. Goggles. I saw them earlier, and I clicked on them, and I was an idiot, and I've forgotten where they are. Hmm. Could be in trouble here, actually. I can't actually see shit. Snake, my goggles, pliers, glove. There's the pliers. Um, there's the goggles. Gloves. I don't know if I ever saw them. There's the mug. The snake, I have absolutely no fucking clue. Is that it? That is barely a snake, alright? That was total garbage. I can't click on the wheel, which is weird, right? Alright, glove. I don't see anything. I do not see a glove. Okay, I'm not going to spend hours doing this. Okay, I failed, but look, that's the outline of a ship's wheel, and there's the gloves. What a load of bollocks. Okay, we've got pliers, which we can use to cut the hole in the fence. Was there a naked man going this way? I'd better follow him. It's a bad idea to mess with someone's grave. I mean, that is probably true. I don't see any footprints. I need to look around some more. Look at the spooky eyes! Oh, shit! They're everywhere. We got an island of shipwrecks. I'm actually quite enjoying this so far. We got a grapple for a grappling hook. And a fire. Who created that hole? I'd like to look in the ship to see what happened, but the hole is too high. Can we use a grappling hook? We can. Hell to the yeah. Let's fucking go. In we go. I think it would be okay to explore the ship. I might find something valuable I could sell after we get off this rock. This guy's dedicated to his cause. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, what the fuck? Hello, ghosty. Ooh. You gonna say anything about that? Huh? I thought I saw a woman throwing something into the fireplace. Did it hurt my head? There's nobody here. Um, there must be something of value in the ashes. I should sift through them. Do we have something to sift through them with, or...? I guess, apparently we need a sifter. Whatever the fuck that is. It's ruined, but I might be able to salvage it for parts. That's true. We've got a graphics card. <laughs> I don't know, we've got RAM or something, actually, not a graphics card. The painting won't budge. Okay, so we need something to use on the painting as well. Got lots of things to do at the moment. Uh, we have the key to this room. Guessing we can't go through- the wires are hot, so there's no way I'm walking through there. I think hot's probably an understatement, like, lethal might be the best way of putting it? Oh, we unplugged the fuse, so we can go through there now. Still. Oh shit, more ghosts! Aggressively bending! <laughs> I'm not really aggressive, actually. They're probably pretty chill. Alright, what do we have here? Another hidden object game? Hell fucking yeah! Let's fucking go. Right, we need a... Uh... I'm clicking on random things, by the way, in the hopes that one of these things... I fucked! I'm fucked! We're dead! We're dead! Panic! Okay. Actually got focus now. Alright, okay. Alright. Pipe. There you go. Nice and easy. Everyone likes a pipe, right? Brilliant. I don't really like a pipe, but still, we're gonna say that I do. I would not have called that a chisel, but we'll take it. I like the way some of the objects are like drawings of objects. Dice. Okay. Like, I feel the brain should be really prevalent, and I'm just being an idiot here. Alright, what else do we need? Ah, uh, fuck. I'm not seeing much things. Cup. There we go. We need the brain, but I don't see a brain right now. It's probably because I don't have one myself and I find it really hard to relate to brains. Um, scissors. I clicked on that the first time, fuck you. There's the pocket watch. There's the pencil, being very fucking sneaky. Glove, ashtray. Hmm, rose. There. Just the brain left. Where would I keep a brain? This isn't the brain, right? No. Where would I keep a brain? Is this it? Oh my god, it's like a child's rendition of a brain. We've got a chisel. I can unlock this at the right tool. Chisel. There we go. Get 
Get fucked. This guy's really good at breaking into things and hot wiring. He's probably a master criminal. All right, what do we have? We've got a scalpel, a phone charger, and a scalpel. Okay, I mean, both things, those things are potentially pretty useful. Um, There's something down there. I know. I saw it. Spooky dookie. The music got really excited there. Really excited. Island mystery remains unsolved. On this day ten years ago, a construction crew working on a deserted island near Spain sent out a distress signal. When the rescue party arrived, there was no one to be found. The workers were building a fishing complex. Wow. Exciting stuff. We got a cell phone, it needs to be recharged. Can I... can I... Can I plug the charger in here? Yeah, and then I can use the charger here to charge it. I didn't expect that to work. Maybe I'll find out what happened on this ship and where everyone went. I'll be home soon, honey. I have a birthday present for you. We landed on the island today. It was shrouded in fog. I tended to the sailor. Something tore him up. Perhaps it was one of those wild animals that populate this island. Oh, shit. I have to run or I'll never get out of here. Thinking of you makes me stronger. 475 is the code. They're taking over the ship! Oh, no. All right, 475. Go in here first. Wow, the designers of this restaurant must have earned a fortune. It looks like it was a really classy joint. Actually, I'm gonna forget the code. So, I'm, while I remember... F oh shit, there's ways to go everywhere. Oh my god. Alright, back up. Back up. We'll go to the beach and do the 475. Alright. Otherwise, I will forget. 475. Here's the present mentioned in the message. If I were a young woman in love, I'd accept this ring in a heartbeat. I suppose I could sell it in the city. Another one of the statues we need. My last cruise before my vacation. I miss Emily so much. I bought her a ring. I hope she likes it. I want to do something nice for her. The first few days of the cruise were uneventful. I'd even say they were boring. I mostly tended to the seasickness and hangovers of the rich and famous. Rebecca the artist staying in the cabin across from me is having an affair with the deck officer. I hope she's not serious about him because he dates a different girl every cruise. I've always loved the Mediterranean, but I'm enjoying it even more this time because being here means I'm drawing close to my destination. Just one more week and I'll be off this boat. We had to stop on an uncharted island due to a mechanical problem. I hope we won't be here long. Things aren't going well. Mr. Thompson from Cabin 15 got lost while walking around the island. It's no wonder, given the fog. I had a rough night. Steve, a member of the crew, went ashore to stretch his legs and ran into a predator of some sort. He needed several stitches and bed rest. Another passenger hung himself and he seemed fine yesterday. Jesus. Rebecca ate a raw fish for breakfast, bones and all. She said she felt fine, but she looked a little green around the gills, so I gave her something for indigestion. That's not normal. I heard strange sounds coming from the cabin across the hall. When I went to investigate, I found Rebecca cowering in a corner. She asked me to turn off the lights. Once I blocked the light coming through the window, she darted over to Isla and started painting something. I couldn't see what it was, though. Looks like Rebecca has been eating raw fish again, and I thought I saw scales on her neck. She seemed quite refined the first time we met, so this isn't like her. Our resident artist shocked everyone at dinner again. She tried to drink every drop of liquid in the restaurant. I don't know how much she drank, but she gulped down several bottles of water. When Madden Zuzu made a joke about it, Rebecca growled at her. I'm worried about her. Perhaps it would be best for her and a safe for the other passengers if she was locked in her cabin. Rebecca has gone mad and tranquilizers won't calm her down. We locked her in a cabin, which made her go insane. We could hear her throwing things around like she was trying to destroy everything around her. When things fully quietened down last night, I thought the tranquilizers had knocked Rebecca out. However, when I went to check on her, I discovered a hole torn in the hull. Did Rebecca do this with her bare hands? I doubt it. The more likely scenario is that someone came aboard the ship and did it. Then I told the captain about this. He just shrugged his shoulders. Yeah, whatever happens every time. More and more passengers are disappearing. Everyone is panicking and lashing out at every each other. I feel like I'm having a bad dream. A few times I even thought I saw a monster. The hallucinations are normal though, given how little I've slept. I can't stay here. I have to leave. I don't care where to go. I just have to get off this boat. It's actually quite cool. So we got fish transformations. Amazing. Well, we've got a screwdriver, which we may as well use on this while we're here, right? Uh, do do do. Do, 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 do. So far, pretty good this. Like, I, I don't even think it's like that cheesy. It's like just quite entertaining. Insert data carrier. All the data was lost, nothing was saved. Various devices can be connected here. Okay, so we need to find some more things first, I think. Okay, but good progress. Let's go back and keep looking around the ship. There's a lot more to look at here, so. We'll look down here first, it looked like it was a dead end. Another one of the statues we need. 
There's a spider in a shoe. Locks a dead end. But yeah, I could get used to playing these like a few times a month. I think it would be fun. What is this? I can't move the carpet. There's too much stuff on it. What do I need to lift? Like, need like a pair of pliers? I already read this, right? Fishing crew fails to return home. I didn't. Another fishing boat's missing. The ship sent out to distress signal right before it entered the so-called deadly waters. The superstitions are saying it's unlikely the Coast Guard will find any trace of the boat as they believe that part of the sea is cursed. Almost 60 vessels have disappeared there in the last century and the number of incidents has increased in recent years. Which brings up an interesting question. How long will the government stand by and do nothing? What are they going to do? If it's like a supernatural thing, what are they going to do? What do they just do there? Oh, I opened up a new area for a hidden object game. Excellent. That was just a random pick and it worked. Hell to the yeah. All right, stop clicking random things now. Okay. Music book. That is not a music book. Hmm. Let's have a look. God, this is, this is, uh, I'm really bad at these because it requires me to pay attention and um, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really do that. Like I see lots of items and I'm like, oh, there's probably one of these. There's a the corkscrew. Boom, boom. Why is there just a treble clef there? Just chilling. All right. Crab, there you go. All right. Bow tie would be a nice one to find, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna spot that very easily, especially if it's like tied around something. The music book is weird, because, like, I feel like it should stand out, a book about music, but I don't really see it at the moment. Hmm. Hiking boot? A lily. Is that a hiking boot? Apparently it is. I would not have called that a hiking boot, but game, I will accept your definition of a hiking boot with great joy and gusto. Scoop. Oh, God. Some of these things are going to be like, what the fuck is a scoop? Because I think a lot of these are probably translated to English from other languages. And I remember playing some of these back in the day. And I was like, that's a coin purse. Again, I probably wouldn't have used that phrasing, but you know, there's the pendant. Which of the items from this is going to be the useful one, by the way? At the moment, there's chocolate. Uh, I still don't see the lily. That is not a lily, right? That's a rose, I'm going to say. That's not, a that's not what I would call a lily. But you never know. You never know, guys. You could, it could just be a random thing. All right. Might need to start looking, using the hints in a minute, because I can't, I can't see shit, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, everything looks the same. That is a champagne thing that I just clicked on. Nothing like any of the things. Let's get a hint. There's the music book. Got to wait for that to recharge, unfortunately, for me. It was staring me in the face the whole fucking time. There's a moon on the drums, by the way. Like I can, there's loads of things here that like scream, we're gonna have to come back here and do another bit, which is not a big problem necessarily, but like, I was wondering if that was a bow tie. It's, it look, there's the bow tie. The violin, there's a violin on the fucking guitar. What the fuck does that even, what, what is happening? What, the, these environments are insane. Like, they're defying all the laws of everything. And I kind of like it. Is that a lily? No, that's not a lily. God damn it, I was hoping that was a lily. Guys, I don't know where the scoop or the lily is. And we haven't got a recharge yet. Scoop. Do they mean like an ice cream scoop? Cause I don't, I don't, I don't, I just don't see shit. Okay, we're gonna just go, we're gonna go really slow. All right, we're gonna go really slow. Up this side, do, 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 down here. Don't see any lilies or scoops. There's a pear, maybe. There's a music note, there's a camera. Again, none of these look like scoops or lilies. None of them. We got the lipstick, we got the bear. Is that a bear? It's a bunny, actually. Um, we got the piano. Okay, we got another clue. Oh my god, it was on the fucking wall. Oh god, I didn't even I didn't even see that. I went past it as well. Just a scoop left, Nomkins. Just a scoop left. There it is. It's like a fucking dustpan and brush shit. We know what that's for. For the fireplace. 
Let's add some music to this dreary place. Let's not. Oh, Jesus Christ! Well, this is a dangerous place to walk. Something heavy might fall on my head. Or you might fall through the floor, which I'd say is probably like a, a riskier scenario. Anyway, let's use the scoop here, perhaps. What do we get? I wonder what's on the flash drive. I'm curious why someone would want to destroy it. Okay, so that's for... I feel like we've actually been everywhere here now. Uh, the flash drive... Hang on, was that... Oh, shit. Oh, she's painting the picture of whatever, like, Dagon or whatever the fuck it is, look. That was on the note. She's having a great time. Hey, miss, wait, tell me what's going on. God, this guy's an idiot. Like an absolute fucking moron. All right, anyway, we can use the flash drive on our PC. Since I'm starting my life here, I thought I'd begin a new diary too. The rebirth will take place at sea, the place from which all life came. I'm going to travel around the world. I left the place of my birth and set off to sea for a new beginning. We're in the Mediterranean Sea near Spain, it's beautiful. The fog's getting too thick to navigate, so we docked on an uncharted island. The captain said we could crash into the reef. I feel like I'm on the Titanic. I found a safe behind a painting in the cabin, it's quite unique. Jim says the captain isn't telling us everything. The equipment's going haywire and no one's answering his calls for help. Something weird is going on. We walked around a small town located near the shore. It's beautiful, but when we got back, we couldn't find the man staying in cabin 15. We thought he'd return to the ship, but he wasn't there, so everyone... The captain told everyone to stay on board. Then a sailor was wounded when he wound out at night against the captain's orders. A few minutes ago, I heard voices and footsteps in the cabin across from me, so I'm guessing the captain sent for the doctor. I can see a shapeless mass in the fog outside my cabin. Could it be the guy from cabin 15? <laughs> he was a shapeless mass. I can also hear noises coming from outside, as if someone is standing near my window, whispering in an unknown language. Could it be my imagination? I'm making another entry before trying to get some sleep. One of the passengers tried to hang himself. Dr. Harrison saved him, though. The noose is still hanging there. As you can imagine, everyone's quite upset. Something strange happened today. I ate a raw fish without noticing what I was doing. I got caught in the conversation and grabbed the plate set aside for Madame Zuzo's cat. She had a bad habit of feeding her pet at the table. The weird thing is I liked it. Everyone looked at me like I was crazy. I dreamed about ancient statues. It was so vivid I thought I was awake. My imagination has gone off the deep end. I should paint what I've seen. This is awful. They're calling, they're calling me to town, but the idiots on the boat have locked me up. They won't stop me, though. Okay. She seems relatively sane for- Oh, what the fuck was that? <laughs> All right, before we follow, a few things I want to do. I want to clear out my inventory. So let's, uh, boom. Can we put one up here? There you go. Do the top one. Feel like we achieved something. Excellent. All right, fill those holes in. It's always good to fill in those holes. Um, let's go and look at the safe quickly as well, because we know the safe's behind the picture now. The painting won't budge. There we go, we use the scalpel. We don't know the safe code though, right? The safe mentioned in the diary. Move the columns and rows of blocks to arrange the blocks according to the color. What does that even mean? Okay, I think I get the I the general idea anyway. Oh shit, you can't move down when there's something in the bottom row. Why did doing the hint do nothing, by the way? That upsets me a great deal. Yeah, I can't... Mm. Yeah, this is going to suck. Okay, maybe maybe it won't suck as much as I think it's going to suck. This kind of shit I'm really bad at. 
If you didn't know, guys, I'm sure most of you know this by now, that I'm really bad at certain types of things. I'm gonna tell- I can't tell which ones- which ones are green and which ones aren't. I'm gonna be honest. They all look the same. I like the fact the bar's filling up, because that's like... This is the point where we determine that you're a complete idiot, and we need your help to solve this puzzle. I feel like this is getting better. Please finish so Please fill up bar. I don't think I can do this but without your help. I'm going to be honest with you. Skip. Yes! We did it! So good! Holy oh, shit. Brilliant. Excellent. What we got here? We got body oil. And a snake again. Don't know what the body oil's for. We should probably follow uh, the abduction now. Got a lighter. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to be bad at some of these puzzles, but they will let you skip them. Oh, do you remember that romantic time I gave you the lighter about 10 minutes ago? The tragic fact about smoking is it makes you about 60% more attractive, but... Then you kiss the person who's smoking, and you die from how gross it tastes, and it ruins everything. Another statue. What kind of stories did they print in newspapers back then? I guess we need a coin. What the fuck are we picking up? A belt. An a Jesus, we're getting, we got stuff coming out of our asses at the moment. So much things. All right, we need something to. Can I just break this off? Maybe. Bet they made the glass strong so I could break it and steal the newspaper. Perhaps I could find a coin. Oh, okay, we can't do it without a coin. God damn it. The door looks weak. I should try smashing it. Hell yeah! Take that door. That's right. I think you're so fucking good. Alright. There's a mansion over there as well. Spooky dookie. How are we going to fit through that hole? It's locked. I need to shatter the padlock somehow. It won't work. I'll try something else. Uh... Probably none of these, I'm going to guess. Okay, we need something better than that. We need an upgrade. Another mysterious disappearance. Maria de la Cruz, the wife of the mayor, is missing. Her husband told the police she'd gone for a week. The entire city is worried about her disappearance. This is the latest in a string of incidents that started one year ago. Oh, wow. There's a big gate there. That crow is looking quite ominous. An old fire hydrant. I wonder if it still works. We need, like, a hose, right? To... Like tie, put a hose here, then get back so we can get past the fire. Maybe in the previous area, the dial is missing from the phone. Okay. I will say this game loves gloves. Like there's so many gloves that have been in this, right? Like fucking gloves coming out the wazoo. There is the glove. There's the elusive glove. At least with these, by the way, I can understand. Um, that they, you know, why there would be all this junk, like, knocking around to a certain degree. Maybe not, like, the ridiculous combinations of shit, but, you know, it's, like, it's plausible, right? Like, it's not, like, insane. Like, you know, some of this stuff got left behind, everything's fine. You know, I, I, I could probably, I could probably accept this as, like, a, as, like, a thing. All right, let's start looking for real. Handcuffs. The number six. Angel. I don't see any of this shit at the moment, by the way. There's the angel, I think, yeah. Uh, a brush? No. That's a comb. It could still... Okay, it, in my defense, right, that could have been the same thing, right? Like, that could have been the same thing. Hmm. The number six is going to be, like, fucking written in the wall somewhere. Like, there's a fucking four-leaf clo- three-leaf clover, sorry, in the fucking wall. Can't count. Can't be four, actually, because that would be impossible, but you know what I mean. 
Uh, there's a heart. There's so much random bollocks. There's a fan. I was thinking of an electric fan. It's actually the second game. I've been playing Mega Man Battle Network 2, and there's a bit in that where you need to put out a fire with a fan, and I was like, oh, he's going to go grab an electric fan. He goes and gets, like, a fucking thing that, like, <laughs> like, a fucking thing that would just make the flames worse. And it works! Teaching children that they, they should put out fires with fans is not a good idea. It was fucking nuts. Anyway, I am really struggling with this one. This is uh, proven to be a challenging one. I don't see a skull... Or the number six. I see, like, oh, there's a the skull. Hiding behind the moth. Fuck off, moth, by the way. Some hideous cockroachy type things in the background there as well. Lovely. All right, handcuffs. I don't see handcuffs anywhere. I quite like handcuffs. They're one of my, uh, you know, something I really like. Uh, harmonica and a brush. I don't really see either of those either. Harmonica and a brush. This is probably like cripple. I still think that's a brush. Uh, probably gonna be cripplingly painful for you guys to watch. I'm gonna guess. Let's take it. Let's do a clue. Oh, it was this. Uh, that's a. That's bullshit. It was a six on a domino. That's not allowed. That's cheating. That's fucking cheating. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? A six on a domino. That's not allowed. The rose is gonna be some bollocks there. That's a flower, but it's not the rose. Brilliant. Like, there's a fish. There's a fucking fish here. All right. We're already struggling here. There's the rose. Fuck yeah. All right, we've got a brush and a harmonica. Oh, God. I can't... I can't see him. I feel like the harmonica should be a really standout thing. There's the brush. Just the harmonica. Just the harmonica. The thing that all of us love to hear all the time. I bet most of you right now would be like, wow, I wish somebody was playing a harmonica. There it is. We did it. Hedge clippers. Don't know what to use those on, but that's okay. Uh, any statues? What's this? Oh, I see. What the fuck was that? A zodiac tile. Excellent. I love zodiac tiles. I don't know what that is. Playing darts was the only entertainment the officers had. I can't get the folder out from under the truck. Thomas Navarra Catalina, a ma Thomas Navarra Catalan Catalina, a maid, said she hadn't seen her boss for several days. She reported him missing on September the twentieth, nineteen nineteen. So these disappearances have been going on for like a crazy long time. Why can't I click on that? Yeah, as soon as I try and click on this, I can't. I guess I need to withdraw the bars somehow, but I don't really know how to do that at the moment. That's the thing I can't get past. What's in here? Well, a key. The rose bush looks prickly. Just as well we got the hedge trimmers. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Alright. We got a key. If it wasn't for the grill, I could get inside. Well. Wow. Nope. Wow, there's a lot of places to explore at the moment. This looks like a clue for a maze, right? Like a hedge maze clue. Probably really important. I hope that remembers it now we've looked at it. I'm going to be honest with you, otherwise, like, we're probably fucked. The branch is in the way. Music's getting really dramatic at the moment. We have to be thorough here, apparently. Holy shit, we're just going to town where we lost the axe. But I need a key or tool to open it. You mean this key? I feel like we're missing a ton of stuff at the moment, but that's okay. Because there's going to be lots of backtracking and exploration and shit. Oh, it's a hidden object section. Okay. Nut for a screw. I like the fact they had to put that in because they probably didn't initially. And it was like, oh, okay. All right. We're fine, though. We can do this. I'm just clicking random things at the moment, I'm going to be honest with you, without looking at a thing. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. That's probably a bad idea. Okay, I'll be good now. Mortar and pestle? Hell yeah. It's just a picture of a mortal and pestle. There's the anvil. Okay. We'll take it much slower now. There's the hacksaw. 
The ladybug? You mean a ladybird? Dipshit? I don't mean to be mean, actually. That was a bit mean. Um, I just get very defensive of the word ladybird, you know? Because it's right! Okay? And everything else is fucking wrong. Okay? Alright? We agreed? Yes, Minx, we all agree. Thank you. By tr triangle, they meant a fucking measuring thing, by the way. Or is it actually- it might actually be called a triangle, I don't know. A broom. Mm. It's a bit of a stretch for what I would call a broom as well. Ivy. Fuck, that's gonna be hard, isn't it? Oh, maybe not. There we go. A banner. We've got star and a nut for a screw. There's a nut. Where the fuck is the star? I feel like the star is going to be, like, built into something. You know, just on the side of something. Like, some bollocks like that. I don't see it. Oh, we can just use a hint for the last one. I'm an idiot. There we go. Excellent. You got a hacksaw. Okay, cool. Thank you. What's this way? Yeah, so this is going to be like a maze. For each one, we need to go forward, left, forward for the for, for one route. It looks like so forward, left. There was a statue there. Forward. What's here? This is like a place a kid might stash something. I had a place like that as a child. Close. I need to find a key to open the cache. I do not have the key at the moment. Excellent. Brilliant. Forward. Oh, no, we can... Oh, okay, so it's the same area. That's interesting. We'll grab that, then. It's bollocks that you can't take the note with you, or it's not showing on screen, but it's okay, I guess. All right, so we need to go right up, up for the next one. So... Forward... Right. Up. Up. Another one that's locked. God damn it. Okay. I think if we go right here, that's another one? Yeah. But they're all locked. Okay. Alright, well, that's fine. We've got other stuff to go back and get on with, so no big deal. That's kind of like a decent little puzzle, though. I quite like it. Sometimes these change into new hidden object puzzles, by the way, so it's worth checking them again. Anyway. We got a hacksaw. Oh, we got this as well. What is this? A dried up roses. Okay, apparently they are useful. This panel is loose. Interesting, but wrong. Thanks, game. Uh... All right, that's not good. None of those are going to work on it at the moment, but that's all right. We found another thing to interact with. We should definitely check for more interaction points than we have been, I think. All right. Hacksaw this, maybe? It will take too long and time's running short. It's going to take a lot longer to decide to look around for 25 minutes for another item game. I'm going to tell you that now. All right, that hasn't... I can't get the folder out from under the truck. We need, like, a jack, right? To jack the car up is probably what we need. And we need a dial for that, which we I don't think we have. And we can't go through that door because it's locked. All right. Back we go. We've got fire here. It goes to a church or something. We haven't got a coin still. Huh, we're actually... I might be a little stumped here, but let's... Uh, see what else we can find. Like, everything looks pretty decent at the moment. It's possible that there's some hidden object shit that have come back, though. So I should definitely look around, though, for those, too. Alright. But generally, I'm really enjoying this, I will say. Like, I, I really, really like it. Alright, this room seems clear. Did we ever go in this room? Well, something's happening in here, anyway. The doctor's room again. He's chilling. Like a villain. God, the game's really excited. Any other time and place I'd say yes to a game of poker. I feel like this character's got a bit of a problem. We already looked at these. And the under the bed thing has not changed. Okay, that's fine. This 
There's too much stuff on the carpet. Can I move stuff off it? Like, what would I need to get stuff out from under the carpet? Yeah, I just don't know. I can't move this, right? Hmm. I don't know about that at all. Anything else in this room? Doesn't look like it. So I feel like a little stumped. Let's go and put the things in, then we'll use a hint to determine where to go. And we can keep working at it that way. May as well fill up the statues, clear out an inventory slot for a bit. I'm really enjoying this though. Like I said, it's a uh, it's nice change. Nice change of pace. Nice simple game. I do like... As I get older, I like my games to be simple and accessible. Rather than stressful and bum. All right, excellent, let's go back. All right, now. I should have known it was gonna do that, I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay, what's this? What did we just pick up? Completely missed this. Oh, cutscene. Oh, it's her having a cigarette. She did love to smoke 50 a day. What was her name, Angel? Angel did like to smoke 50 cigarettes a day. It was the best thing that she ever did. All right. I don't know if that's changed anything. We definitely need a hose to put this fucking fire out. There's no fucking way that there's anything else. Looks like the fountain's been out of order for a long time. We definitely don't have a coin. Oh, I know what we can do. I didn't think about this. We can use the hacksaw on the bars. Hey! No, no time to saw through the individual padlock, but we can spend 20 minutes removing the bars from a fucking window. Holy shit! <laughs> That's cool though. Okay, progress. Excellent. Oh, spooky. Oh my god, hi. The ghosts look so crap. It's actually amazing how bad they look. I love it. This might oh, we got a gun. Shit, maybe we can shoot the lock. Um, Mdglebi is a poisonous African tree. It's first mentioned in an 1882 publication. The canopy consists of a large dark green leaves. The trunk is covered with two layers of bark. The fruit consists of black pods with red tips. The Mdglebi is a simple tree that can grow in any soil. The tree surrounds itself with a cloud of deadly gas. Small animals that breathe in the cloud die. That's how the Mdglebi fertilizes the soil surrounding its roots. Symptoms of the poison include headache, fever, and redness of eyes. The intoxication sometimes causes hallucinations and death. Okay. I could try warming the place up. Well, we do have some dried up roses, kindling, and the lighter. Hell yeah. The fire wouldn't warm up a mouse. It's too small. Well, suck it up, all right? Just put some more kindling in. That's better. We did it. It's supposed to be up the chimney, not through the wall. What's going on? Oh, we found a secret door, guys. Oh, shit. Exciting stuff. There's something there. All right, what do we need to fucking remove the wall? <laughs> the scalpel again, of course. Silly me. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is where the Zodiac tile goes. But we need a bunch more. Okay. Still, progress. Makes me happy. All right. It's rusty, so it won't turn. Sorry, we've got some body oil. Oh shit. It could be venomous, so we either get rid of snake or stay out that room. This might work, my aim is poor though. I missed. It's rusty so it won't turn, we can fix this one too. Alright, that used the oil. So there's a combination we need to do here, but I don't know what it is. Where would I know what it is? My first dangerous creature I've encountered since I don't feel like dying of a snake bike, I've got to get rid of it. I can rotate one of the balls, but the rest are rusty. I did that. Some of the tokens are missing. These are all clues, I just realized. Okay, we already figured that question. I was right, the house is gorgeous. It's also cold. Oh yeah, there's something behind there. 
Definitely, we're missing something there as well, and a bunch of keys we're missing as well for the other puzzle. What do I have in my inventory? We have a belt, a cigarette case, a revolver. We've whittled down things quite a lot, I will say. There's something in the vent. I need a screwdriver to remove the grill. Well, it's just as well. We've, we kept the scalpel too. There are like our companions here. Oh, hi, little rat. That was. I like the little details like that. It's kind of cool. All right, so potentially. All right, I don't know how we're going to get rid of the snake, I'm going to be honest with you, unless I can shoot it again. I missed again. Can we just keep going? How many bullets do you think we <laughs> Can I waste all the bullets in the game on one thing? I have no idea what the code is. Okay, that's fine. Um, <laughs> what did I get? Oh, another one of those. I don't think this is right still, but enough still, I mean, but... Yeah, we're still missing some tiles. I don't think there's anything else on this screen, but it's worth checking, right? Alright. Anything else in here that is worth checking out? Doesn't look like it. It looks like the house has been abandoned for- I, I, I literally just clicked on a light! Something back in here? Yeah, we got another puzzle here. Okay, good. Alright. That means we've found something else that we need. Uh, which is good, probably. Candle. Boom. Okay. Let's try and- let's try and think through this. There's a chain. Some of the things, by the way, that you need to find are, like, ridiculous. Like, the pen? That was fucking tiny! There's the rabbit. Uh, a mouse trap. Oh, shit. I'm just clicking on random things at the moment, by the way. In the hopes that everything works out okay. Butterfly net, yeah. It's only if you get a bunch wrong in a row that it that it's like, You fucked up. I should kill you. I thought that might be a bat, I'm going to be honest with you, but it's probably just nothing. Just probably some kind of evil entity just sort of chilling and having a good time. There's one down here too, see that? If you put your mouse over, it's like, actually, I think I'm going to leave. we got iron, bat, and padlock left. Iron. There's the padlock. There's the iron. And the bat. Oh. They meant a baseball bat. Okay, we got a butterfly net. Don't know what that's for, but probably useful. Probably. We still have nothing, I don't think, that will open this. Let's see if we can shoot the padlock off the truck. It sounds like something stupid that we could do. Yep. The sack is torn. I should sew it before using it. What?! Oh, we need the actual sack, so that's why we need to sew. Okay. Well, that's a bit weird, but uh, I'll take it. Well, I say I'll take it. I'm not sure I will. This is also now another hidden object thing. So yeah, these are going to come back periodically. Needle and th once you find the thing you need, th once you find a puzzle, right? That's what it is. So this is going to be the needle and thread is going to be what we're going to get from this to fix the fucking thing. All right. Not the end of the world. Some of these are going to be really bollocks, I think. And some of these are going to be fine. I keep looking at the shit that I found last time now. Like, oh yeah, there it is. There's the ank. Alright, star, spring. There's a spring. I'm going to be honest with you. I thought this was a needle and thread, but I guess not. Like, it looked like a sewing kit. Does that make sense? That's what I'm thinking. I don't know if I'm just being... Everyone's gonna be like, uh, Minx, that looks nothing like a fucking sewing kit. You should probably shut the fuck up, actually. Not, not, not you, me. I should probably shut up. Um... God, this, this one is really difficult. Bone? Star? I'm I'm struggling. For, for, oh, there's a star. Gotta keep remembering that it's like bollock stuff, like that's just part of the background and shit sometimes. Um, bone and star. God, I fucking hate this. Uh, I don't actually hate it that much. 
I'm just used to saying I fucking hate this all the time. So I just, uh, you know, make that assumption. There's the mug. Needle and thread and ruler left. If I could just find one more. There's the ruler. Needle and thread is... Oh, that's the bone. Fuck, I missed... God damn it. I... I'm an idiot. I've ruined everything. We're going to be here for years. Maybe a hundred million years. God, the music's getting intense. It's like, needle and thread. There's a needle and thread. Boom. There's no needle there, by the way. Oh, I guess there is. All right, anyway, we can fix the thing now. So let's go and do that. We can stitch the sack. And we get another tile. And we get a sack. A burlap sack. Don't really know what that's for. But, um... Anybody home? We have to go through the window. Sorry, my bad. It's very easy for me to forget that. We're still missing one tile from somewhere. This looks like something, right? I'm not delusional. Okay, that answered that question, but... Alright. We still don't have anything to break open this. I can't think of what the sack is for, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, it's probably for something. We still don't have a coin to use on the fucking newspaper. Um, we have a diamond ring, a screwdriver, a cigarette case. What is the butterfly net for? I genuinely don't know. I haven't seen anything that that would be used on, you know? I'm going to use the hint in a minute, but I don't really know where I should be looking, I'm going to be honest with you. And it's just going to tell me where to go. Because I can't spam it this early on, so... I say this early on. This is what happens when you drink and drive. Excellent, thank you. Thanks for the insight, I'll bear that in mind. Yeah, I still can't do- Oh, 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 oh! Oh, it finally let me go here. I don't know what was going- Maybe I could have gone here the whole time. But we need a code for the cell and we don't have it. Yeah, I don't know what the code is. And we can't really click on anything here. Alright, so we need the code for the cell. Alright, it's just telling me where to go and I'm going to do it for now. Alright, so there's something in the house that I'm missing. Upstairs? Oh, the butterfly net on the snake. There we go. Progress, guys. So they won't stay in the net. I need to. St I, I don't want to step over the poisonous creature. It could be venomous. So we either get rid of. Oh, I see. Sack it. There we go. There we go. We sacked it up. A sun-shaped notch. Oh, great. This looks fucking awful. The owner of the house must have been interested in horoscopes and palm reading. There's the missing tile we need, the last one we need. Got some missing books here as well. Probably important, I'm gonna guess. The door handle's missing, perhaps I could find a replacement. Alright, we need a lot of things for this room, but I think we can go and do the Zodiac puzzle now, probably. I should line up the Zodiac tiles with their corresponding elements. Oh, fuck. This looks awful. Alright, so fire... is... Leo... and Gemini? I have no idea what I'm looking at, I'm going to be honest with you. Alright, so... Oh, is this just a sliding... Oh no, it's a fucking... It's a fucking sliding puzzle. We're going to be skipping this, guys. It's no fucking way I'm doing this shit. This is like the epitome of things I find not fun in video games. Um, I think these are the same colour, the M and the Moons. Where the fuck are the moons? These two, right? Alright, which M is it? It's 
the M with a little a little tick. This one. We need to get this out first. Hang on. We'll leave those down there. Okay, for the spinnies, it's going to be two waves and the hill. So those two. Alright. Then it's... I'm going to try and do this, for, uh, seeing as I'm already here now. Um, green is V, circle with horns, and the other M. Circle with horns, V... And the other M. Okay, this should be all correct, yeah? That's not right? Oh no, I fucked that up. It's the, oh, it's the wrong V's. God damn it. Fuck it! I got close, alright? I promise. Got another one of these, got a wrench. Pictures of couple together. Some old photos, who are these people? The woman looks like the owner of the house, but who's the man? I was close, guys, I think. Okay, I think we can just look at the pictures and that's it here. All right. The wrench. On this, maybe, we can smash it? It's not gonna work. Well, it could work. Put your mind to it and it might, okay? Uh, maybe on this. I should hack it. Perhaps there's a hose in the basement. Do you mean this? Oh my god, what if they mean this? They do. They do. I have to get a hose now. Oh no. They used this one three times. Holy shit. Is that common? I don't know enough about these kind of games to, to tell you if that's common or not. But, um, it's a spider. All right, I've clicked on nearly everything. That was not a good idea. All right, let's start afresh. Belt. Bird. Okay. Lightning bolt. You got paint, hose, and wheel. That doesn't count as the wheel, apparently. Fuck. There's the hose, which we need. We'll better get to the church from this, which is good. Once we eventually solve it. There's the wheel. I will say the hitboxes on these are really small. Like, sometimes you'll click, like, on them and it won't it'll be like, Actually, you need to be, like, a little closer. There's the paint. We need a safety pin and a dagger. Hmm. I don't know where we're going to find those. Let's have a look. I mean, I guess that's the point of a hidden object game, is you don't know where you're going to find those, right? Ha 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 ha. Uh, a dagger and a safety... I just don't see him. There's the bone. So that's good. I was hoping that was a safety pin, but... Wishful thinking on my part, I'm going to be honest with you. I got a paint roller and a jug. There's the paint roller. A jug. Fuck. I don't know. God, some, some of these are, like, really, really challenging. And I don't think they actually are. I think I'm just incompetent. But, you know. 
Like, where the fuck is the safety pin? Fuck it. Oh my god, that dagger is the smallest dagger in human history. Holy shit, that was bollocks. There was no way I was seeing that, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, jug. There's the jug. You just need the safety pin. Thought this was like the top of a massive safety pin for a minute, but that was again wishful thinking on my part. Um, safety pin. There it is. All right, we got the house. Excellent. Hmm. All right, so hose attached, monkey wrench used. Fire out. There we go. And that gets us to a new area. Excellent. So far, I've really struggled with the main puzzles, though. Like, I know that's kind of embarrassing, but, you know, what can you do? Okay, so if we go left twice, we get to an X, and left up, up, we get to the top. So let's go left twice, first of all. Spooky, but there's nothing here. Might die being out here, I feel. Just go back, and hopefully we'll find a way out. There we go. Um, right up up is something. Here's the dock. Oh, there's the noose that the <laughs> has been left here the whole time. Jesus Christ. Oh, there's a spooky spook there. All right, well, we found more shit, so let's just keep going with this, I guess. I went a bit excited again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. I get excited, okay? All right, we're doing better, though. We got uh, gloves, a gas can. Wouldn't be surprised if that was what it is. Bat, again, I'm like, okay, it's a baseball bat. There we go. Not a, a, a bat as in like fucking, you know. They, they like their padlocks, don't they? They really do. We got a bell, lemon, and padlock left. That's been a fast one. There's the lemon. There's the bell. And finally, padlock. We get a key. Okay. I'll take it. I like it, as Gabe Newell would say. There's something in the crate. Well, we're not opening it with things like we've got, I don't think, at the moment, at least. I'm guessing we need the key that we already found. That's not... It's not this key. Oh, shit. Key for something else. All right, well, that's fine. No big deal. Guessing we need to hook something off something at some point. But for now, we don't need to worry about it. So let's just head back. Found a key for something. We haven't been this way at all yet. We've got loads of places to go. Another hidden object game here. Let's do this. Hello? Oh, hi. Oh, God. <laughs> so scary. Holy shit. That was amazing. I love it. Like the JPEG of a child. As a typewriter. Some of these objects they really like, by the way. They've used them a bunch of times as the antlers. We might get the sun for the sun puzzle from this, because the sun is one of the things. Yeah, that we're definitely getting that. That's what it is. I'm okay with that, too. Bat, rolling pin, and ram. That's the ram. Again, not I would have what I would have chosen. But again, there's the bat. We need a ball. There's the ball. Sock and pencils. There's the eyeglasses as well. Sock I'm not so sure on. I see a shoe. And the, the gloves. The millionth fucking time. There's the pencils. Skull, watering can, and sock. 
the skull, I'm guessing, is going to be built into something. But I could be wrong. There's a watering can. That's technically the skull of a fish, alright? Okay, so shut up. There's a the skull. And the sock is... I would never have seen that, so that's just as well. We got the sun. Excellent. If I were a kid, I'd hide my treasures in my favourite teddy bear. Well, let's cut it open and see. Uh, who? A key hidden a teddy bear. It's probably what we need for the thing. Alright, there's a way into the church there as well. We may as well go and check it out while we're here. Uh, this key? Yeah, the key we got from the docks opens the chest. It had like a little crucifix on it, actually. Something's sticking out the ground. It's stuck, though. Alright, we need a shovel. Which is fine. What's this? There's a picture of my sister in me. How did this photo end up here? I don't remember anyone taking a picture of us. Okay, that's weird. There's something engraved here, but I can't read it. Hmm. Spooky church, lovely. Got some holy water, but there's no telling what it tastes like after a hundred years, so I pass. I could wash my hands though. Yeah, great. Uh I already clicked like seven times in the hopes that I can speed it up. Handkerchief, there we go. Got it. Lamb! Mm-mm-mm. Do you love me some lamb? Delicious. Alright. Sun. Nope, that's a star, but I'll take it. Uh, half of six. What the fuck? <laughs> Hang on. What the fuck? Apple and a house. A house? God, there's some weird fucking requests in this one. That was an apple? Didn't even look at it like it. Uh, this is the house of God, so I could click the entire room. There's a the house. Dagger bucket. God. Hmm. Oh, yeah, there's the bucket. I do not see a dagger anywhere, though. They like clothes of garlic and skulls as well. Like, there's lots of things they're really, really keen on. Oh, wow, this one's challenging. Glove, hat, and half of six. Let's focus on that. I was going to say, maybe, is the crown a hat? Probably not. There's the glove. Where the fuck is the hat? Right there. All right, half of six, so three. Where is the number three in this fucking image? There's the butterfly. So he's got the dagger and half of six left. Oh fuck, that's not a dagger. Mm. He's holding like a sword, but so I thought maybe that would count, but I guess not. Fuck it. I'm going to have to use a hint. There's the dagger. Oh, it's right in plain sight as well. Half of six. How am I going to find it? I don't even have a hint, guys. Do you think it'll just be the number three written? Or do you think it's like dominoes? It, I guess it could be both, right? Like it could... The game like likes to fucking subvert that kind of shit. So like, I guess it doesn't really matter which one it is. It's one of them. Could be something cut in half. I have no idea, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Completely at a fucking loss here. I really hope the hint comes back soon, guys, because I have absolutely no idea where it is and I'm losing my fucking mind. You're just all screaming right now. Everyone in the comments is like, oh my god, Minx, I can't believe you couldn't see half of six. Why couldn't you see it? Why didn't you know? Actually, this is doing my head in. 
I've, I'm looking everywhere, guys. I'm, I'm looking, scanning the top, I'm scanning the bottom, I'm scanning everywhere. There's nothing. Bullshit. Half of six. It's three. Even I know that, and I'm an idiot. So where's the three? Come on, Mira, you're nearly done. You're nearly done. I'm just waiting now, fuck it. Take this moment, chat, to let me know in the comments of the video what you thought of this- Oh my fucking god, you fucking asshole. We got a handkerchief. Might be okay for cleaning the plaque outside, right? The stained glass is dirty, I'd love to see what it depicts. Just as well, we can clean it. A dry handkerchief won't remove the dirt. Ah! Let's moisten it in holy water. And then clean it. Hell yeah! We got whatever this is. A book. For the bookcase, back in the mansion, right? At least I tried. I give you a good 7 out of 10, well done. This altar was beautiful once. Yeah, probably was. Doesn't look like there's anything to interact with here. No, there's no stars or anything. Stars. Uh, let's go back. I can't, I haven't got the handkerchief anymore, so it's not for this. The book's for the bookcase back in the main house. Which is fine. We probably have the key for the crane. Because I think that's probably what was in the, in the teddy bear. Uh, so, left, up, up. Let's see. It's not? Nope. Okay, well. There's something else in these woods that I haven't found. And it's... Forward, left, left. So let's try that. Forward, left, left. Yeah, there's nothing here. It's just a bunch of shit. Maybe it's to get the statue. I don't. I just don't see anything though. Eh. If we get stuck, the game will guide us. I'm sure eventually. All right. So I've got a coin. But we do have the book. It's cold in here. The burning coal can come in handy here. Oh, okay. That's not where I want to go right now, but I guess it was worth checking it for a hidden object. Um, <laughs> the poor snake is just getting fucked up. Uh, I don't think I have anything I can use as a handle, but I can put the sun in here, first of all. And that gives me the other book for the book puzzle. Need to put the books in the right order. Uh... No. 1889, they swap these round. 91, 93, 95, there we go. Oh, a secret door based on the books. I solved a puzzle without skip- oh god, hi! Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> she lost weight fast there. I imagine things would happen here. I have to find Angel and get off this island. I mean, that's what we're working on. By turning parts of the lock, I can assemble this ornament. Well, this looks fucking awful. Isn't this right? Oh, the middle wasn't right. God damn it. Alright, so do the middle first. And then that should do it. What is wrong? This all looks right to me. Am I an idiot? Oh, the middle was wrong. God damn it. I am an idiot is the answer to that question, by the way.
There we go, got there in the end. It's locked, I don't want to break it either, as it might upset the author. I should try and open it though. Well, we need like a heart to open it. Page from notepad. Can I read it? Or not? Apparently not. Was she really entombed in there? I don't know. A stencil. I'm guessing these combine? No, maybe not. Okay. Hi. Something is clinking inside the porcelain cast. Oh, there's part of the heart medallion we need to open the ch open the chest. The other half's probably in the cat. But I don't have anything to break it with at the moment. And I definitely have nothing to break down that door at the moment, right? Oh, hi. Thank you. This, I still don't know what to do with that. Alright, still no fucking puzzles here. Alright, where do I go? No, something in the house still. That I can do. I can do this? What do I have the clue to this? I know something sparkling on the bricks in the walls. Something terrible secret buried with that poor woman. I don't know what will help me find Angel and what will prevent me from rescuing her. Curse this island. They say every family has gone in its closet, but this is too literal for me. Something terrible happened in this city. I need to find Angel and get out of here. And here's a secret cabal in the wardrobe. Unfortunately, it's an old cache with nothing of interest. Okay, that's fine. Something scribbled on there, but I can't read it. Is this the stuff from the thing? But that would mean there's three. There's only three, right? Not four. Only three knobs. So there's only... How many combinations are there? Oh, there's not many at all. Alright. This is this should be easy to do. There we go. Yeah, they opened the secret step. Okay, we did that apparently. We've done that. Alright, what am I missing in here? Something in here. Yeah, but I only have half the thing. I needed the half, but where is it? I don't think the man whose portrait I saw it in the cabinet had it. Okay, well, I was meant to put half in at least. Which is a bit weird, right, all things considered, because the game expects you to go and put that half in, which is very odd. I'm letting it guide me at the moment, because I've got too many places to go. Okay. Oh, this is changed. This is back again. Oh my god, this fucking room again. Alright, that's fine. It That's for the other half of it. Oh my god. Okay, I see. Alright. We can continue. Dolly. Thing is, I've looked at this fucking room like 50 fucking times at this point, and I feel like <laughs> I'm still <laughs> I'm still terrible at this one. It's like the worst one. All right, dog. There we go. Okay, coffee beans. One of my favourite things in the entire world. I'm going to be honest with you. Horseshoe. Cigarette case. This? Yes. It was something in the end. We got there in the end. Do they mean doily instead of dolly? They do. Okay. That's not good English. But I will accept it. Alright. Walkie talkie. Glasses and a notebook. 
I really wanted the fish to be one, but I didn't even look if it was or not. I was just hoping. There's the walkie-talkie. There's the notebook. We got books, coffee beans, glasses, and queen. Hmm. I really want the coffee beans. Sounds good right now. The queen, I'm not sure about. Will it be a chess piece, maybe? There's the glasses. Coffee beans, books, and queen. Books. How am I missing fucking books? They should be massive. There's the books. Just coffee beans and queen now. Could the coffee beans be loose? Possibly. You know, just like a pile of little beans by themselves. And then we need the queen as well. I have no idea where the queen would be. I'm trying to look through the cracks, but I don't really see it. There's a horse out there, but I don't really see, you know, like... Fuck it, I'm going to have to do one. It was, a it was a fucking playing card. I was like, chess piece? God damn it, I'm an idiot. All right, now I've got to find the coffee beans by myself, which uh, could prove to be incredibly challenging, I'm going to be honest with you. I see a skull out the window there. I see a bug. I see a bunch of things, but I don't see any fucking coffee beans, unless you are coffee beans. You are not coffee beans. It's worth a shot. Oh, my God. The last two were always fucking me up at the moment. Coffee beans. Coffee beans, coffee beans, coffee beans. How do you like your coffee comment section? Because I really, really, like, I have a problem with coffee. Like, I've on my, like, sixth fucking mug now. And I really need them to, like, function. Especially when I'm, like, working and recording and shit. And especially after all my health shit, I'm so tired so easily. Like, I really, really need coffee to, like, just function on a regular basis. I genuinely don't see them anywhere, by the way. I'm going to have to wait for the fucking mirror to fill in, because fuck knows. I have no idea. This all looks completely empty and devoid of coffee beans. I'm going to be honest with you. I just... I'm staring. My eyes are hurting from staring. God, it's so difficult being a content creator, guys. My eyes hurt from looking at a screen for hours on end. It's, it's just such a difficult... I'm joking, by the way. It's such a hard life. Definitely aspects of content creation that suck, but, um, I strain is not one of them. Oh my god, bollocks! That was bollocks! Alright, anyway, we can go back in here now and do the shit. Pass the snake. Pass snake, Chan, in here. Over here. Alright, what's in the box? I found this piece of paper on the bedroom floor today. Somebody must have lost it. I'll keep it in case it's important. Oh, it's for putting the... F okay, I understand. Sanika's forgot to put her scarf on before dinner. Her skin is flaking really bad. What if it's contagious? I'll send the doctor Ramirez tomorrow. She needs to help, and I don't want whatever she has to hurt our baby. There was no need to call Dr. Esteban. Sonica went crazy this morning, screaming and throwing things at people. Then she ran off. Is she mad? Does she have a fever? Is she... I was so scared. Sonica's farewell gift was a broken boiler in the basement. Thank you, God. We've got Diego Garcia, a jack of all trades. He repaired it in no time. I wonder if he could build something from scratch. My husband's birthday's coming up, and I'd like to give him something special. I went to see Diego Garcia today. He's going to make a beautiful box with a secret compartment for Vincent's birthday. He loves hidden caches. By the way, being pregnant is a real miracle, but I get sick just looking at food. I should call Dr. Ramirez. He might be able to help. I promised Vincent I wouldn't go out on my own. It's a good thing I've already ordered him his birthday present. What a wonderful day. Dr. Ramirez told me how to fight nausea, and it worked. I feel much better. Vincent said he had a surprise for me and led me to the garden. He walked me around the garden and the house, then brought me to the room. While we were outside, some men brought a cradle into the room. It's so beautiful, I can't wait to rock my little one to sleep. Vincent didn't come home today. I'm worried. I hope he's okay. I'll go out and look for him, but I promised him I wouldn't leave the house alone. Though no one has seen him since seems safe after that accident with Sonica. I pray to St. Mary that Vincent doesn't encounter anyone bad. Vincent is still missing. I'm so scared I couldn't sleep last night. Dr. Ramirez thinks I should try and positive thoughts so I don't upset the baby. The only thing that calms me down is rocking the cradle. It makes me believe Vincent will be back. I know you wouldn't leave us. Dr. Ramirez came to see me today. He's worried about my health. He says I have to get more sleep. How can I sleep without knowing where my husband is? But the doctor gave me some medicine, saying I might exhaust myself and lose the baby if I didn't take it. I'll drink anything to prevent that from happening. 
What's going on? I woke up late today and the first thing I discovered was someone had built a brick wall outside the door to my room and part way up the window. I want Vincent to come home. I think this is just a bad dream. Who would break into my house and do this while I was asleep? I broke my window and nearly screamed my throat roll calling for help. No one heard me. I can only sit here and wait for someone to pass by. Cursed walls. How can a home become a prison? If Vincent was here, he'd free me. I've been locked in my room for three days. I keep hoping I'll wake up and discover this is a bad dream. I feel terrible. I think I'm losing my baby. Why is this all happening? Where's Vincent? Did he die? I have to escape. I want to live, but it seems this room will be both my prison and my grave. There's no one outside. I scream for help, but no one answered, and my baby stopped moving. I feel empty. I keep having strange visions or hallucinations as if I'm looking at the world from above. I don't know what's going on, but I think I don't have long to live. Water, water, water. That's depressing as fuck and quite surprisingly well written and dark. I'm really sorry that happened to you, lady. She went through a lot. That's fucking awful. Anyway, we need to go to the church, so, uh... There's still loads of things to interact with. We're still, I feel like, miles from the end of the game at the moment. Which is fine. I think I should cut out those glass pieces. A scalpel won't cut the glass, I should try something else. Well, I don't think I have anything else at the moment for it. A diamond? Are you fucking- I would have never figured that out. The diamond ring is what cuts- <laughs> That's bollocks. That is absolutely bollocks. There's no fucking way in a million years that would be. Was am I meant to have used this on a like fucking stone and shit? The rays of light appear to be pointing at some tiles on the floor. Okay. Oh shit! A secret, whatever passageway, maybe no, or something else. I'm sure angels down here. The round part is missing. Well. We are probably stuck again, it feels like, at the moment, until we figure out that... Can the diamond ring... The diamond ring's been used permanently. Oh, hang on. Can I put the paper there? Oh, yeah, I can. Gotta do the rubbing. Alright, there's the thing for the door. Hopefully I can look at it while I'm doing it. Oh, I can't, though, because the round part's missing still. Belt? Nah, it was worth a shot game. Shut up. Alright, so I need something else still. But, progress. And we got rid of a bunch of the materials that we had. Which is good. But we're still missing shitloads of stuff right now. I'm gonna go and put the uh, statues in and see how many more we need. Okay, we're definitely getting there. I think she's behind the fucking door to here, to be honest with you, rather than in the basement of the church. It makes more sense to me, but... We got almost all of them, actually. We need how many more? Four more? That's impossible. I mean, it must be like three and a half or something. Alright, let's uh, use the mirror to find out where to go next, because I don't know at the moment. Ah, something at the boat, it looks like. Yeah? Must be a refresh of the hidden object area or something. Okay, here. What do I have to get rid of this? Oh my god, I could have cut it the whole time. I need three keys. Okay. Well. I guess that's opened up some shit anyway. Because the key is going to be one of them. All right, take this, take this, it's fine. Heart. Excellent, brilliant. Medical cross. What the fuck is a medical cross? I genuinely don't know what that is, but it, it is what it is. Apparently it's, that's a ball peen hammer, that wasn't it, but still. Suspenders. Casino token. I do know what a casino token is. Thank you. A teaspoon, a man's ring. <laughs> <laughs> 
Tooth, hot water bottle, and a medical cross. God, I could do with a hot water bottle right now. There's the hot water bottle. Tooth. There. Medical cross. I genuinely don't know what that is, or what that even means. Um... Oh. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Ignore everything I just said, I do know what it is. Everyone face palming there, probably. Alright, cufflink. I don't know what that really looks like, I'm gonna be honest with you. I know what it is, but I don't know what it looks like, but it's okay, because we already solved it. It's that. Excellent. Yeah, I wouldn't have known that was it, but we got one of the keys. Which means the other one's probably... No? Oh, not here. It's not here, but this is definitely one of the keys we need, at least. Okay, and we know what they look like. Is it not for this? Uh... Okay, we found one so far. Could be one here. Can I open that with the key? Nah. Worth a shot. So we could have cut that fucking ages ago. Like, back at the start of the game. This potentially means, though, a lot of things that I could have got, I can get keys from, like hidden object puzzles, uh, back in action now, potentially. I don't know. But it's worth a check, right? This is all fine still. If I, I would have used the fucking diamond on that, by the way, if I'd known, <laughs> if I'd known the diamond was going to be that fucking useful. There's another one here. This is like the fifth one here. What the fuck? All right, alarm clock. We're running out of objects that surely can be used at this point, right? Like. Surely, boxing gloves and a sledgehammer. There's a sledgehammer. Boxing gloves. I don't recall seeing these ever here. But that doesn't mean shit, necessarily. Those are boxing gloves? What the fuck? Brush. I'm sure I clicked on the brush like 700 times when it was meant to be a comb. Um, We'll leave the brush for now. Compass, poison, wrench. There's the... That. Compass, poison, wrench. I've already got the poison. Compass. There's the compass. I don't know about a wrench. I would say it's a spanner. There's the brush. Uh, picture frame jewelry box record. There's the jewelry box. Picture frame. There's the record. There's the picture frame. Just the wrench. We don't. We, we can cheat. Excellent. And we got a sledgehammer. Well, we know what that's for now as well. Why did that unlock at this point, by the way? I don't understand. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I just realized something, by the way. Interesting, but wrong. How is that wrong? I also realized that the keys we got here might open the kids' cages in the woods, right? The, the little key, because it was inside the bear. So left, right for the first one. Let's we, we might as well test it out. It doesn't hurt, right? Forward, left, up, sorry, is what I meant to do. Yeah, it does. And that gives you a dart, which is for the fucking police station for some fucking reason. Okay, that's excellent. We can open all of these now, it looks like. I need to look at all the directions, though, again. Um, right, up, up, and right, up, right. So, right, up, up. This is what this is for. And we have the other dart. An uh, adorable picture of a cat. If we go down one, then right, we should get the other one too. Yep. Oh. That one had a, 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 Cthu a Dagon doll in it as well. I'm assuming it's Dagon. It could be something else. Could be some unspecified Lovecraftian entity, but judging by the little Cthulhu thing at the bottom. There's more of these games in this series, by the way. I'd definitely be down to um to playing them, uh, if they're any good.
Is this going to give me the code for the dial? It might do. It'll be really funny if it does. Phone dial. Oh my god. Oh, I need a phone book as well. Which I don't have. God damn it. Alright, let's find out where to go next. Gradually, everything's coming together, though. I'm happy. I'm very happy with how everything's coming together. Alright, it's upstairs, whatever it is that we're doing. Through here. Through here. We haven't got the handle to the door in here yet. Sledgehammer gets us through the wall here. There we go. I think these are always going to flow well, you know what I mean? Because we don't have to, like, get stuck for ages. Strange disc. I genuinely don't know what that's for. Oh, it's for the church. The basement of the church. Let's fucking go. I think we nearly have all the Dagon statues, by the way. I think we need, like, one more? Two more? Probably should have turned off the, the water at some point, but, you know. I'm kind of down with wasting it. Like, who's gonna pay the bill? Who's gonna, who's gonna put the bill? Not me. Ha 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 ha. By moving the tokens using the dish, I should be able to get the combination. I have the combination, right? It's, uh... <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna be honest with you. I can't tell. This is going to be the kind of one where I have absolutely no idea. Is this right? I don't think even that this is right. I think that, I mean, I think that would go in there. Oh, fuck it. I think that would go in there, by the way. Oh, do you think... Which way round do you think it is? Like, that's the first one, but... Does that need to be at the top? Oh, no, that is right. That is right. Then it's like the... This one? What should we get this wrong again, by the way? Oh, shit, but I've got to put them in... Oh, fuck, yeah. I hate these puzzles, by the way. Like, I genuinely fucking hate them. Like, this is going to be the right order, I think, but, like, not the right angle. I'm going to be honest, I'm going to end up skipping every single fucking puzzle in this fucking game, the way this is going, because this is just, like, I don't like any of these. These are all, these are all really difficult to me. Like, these are all the sort of stuff that really, really hurts my brain. I don't think any of these are right. They were right before, but they're not right anymore, and... God, oh, this is just too much effort. We're just gonna run the timer down. I'm sorry that I'm incompetent, by the way, guys. I really, re I, re I promise. I'm I promise I'm sorry. But, at least sort of things, at least I get to skip them when I, when I get stuck for too fucking long. At least I get skipped. I have another question for the comment section. What is your favourite Lovecraftian entity? Is it Dagon? Who probably is the antagonist in this game? Probably, maybe, possibly? Is it Cthulhu? Do you like the classic? Do you prefer something different, like uh, good old Shub, um, or uh, Nyalatep, or something? There's lots of different things that you can go for. There's other ones other than those as well, lurking in the shadows. Anyway, we solved it. Isn't that amazing? I think that might be all the statues, but we got another bell puzzle here. All right, this one kicked my ass a bit before. I just clicked on the same three things from before. All right. Bird, dipper, and cross. What the fuck is a dipper? What does that mean? What is a dipper? I have no idea. I have literally no idea what a dipper is. That's the jewelry box. Doctor's bag. 
Hammer beads horse heart. I don't like this one, by the way. This is like the inside of the car. It's like my weakness. Bird, dipper, and cross. I don't see a bird anywhere, I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. I still don't know what a dipper is, but if we click on loads of different things, hopefully something will work out in the end. There's the beads. I was going to say, I definitely clicked on that. Bow. Could be a few different things that could mean, right? Could be like a bow tie. Could be like a bow, like an adorable bow. There's the cross. Um, could be like... Um, What's it called? Uh, fuck, I'm trying to remember the right thing. Uh, like, a, like an arrow shooting bow. They need to specify, all right? I wish I knew what a dipper was still. I, I have no idea. Um, horse, heart, and hammer. There's the hammer. The horse. Like, I, I'd imagine it was part of a bit of artwork, but I'm not sure it is. And a heart. Gotta be honest with you, I don't see a heart anywhere either. For Dipper, do they mean like the big Dipper? There's the bird. Horse and heart. Again, the heart. Not sure about that either. Like a lot of the background stuff is a bit vague. Horse. God, this is gonna be this is gonna be a real challenge. Well, we'll get rid of one. What the fuck am I meant to be clicking on? It oh there's the heart. Oh my god, I would have never I literally would have never seen that. Okay. Alright. A dipper, a bow, and a horse. Right. A dipper. There's the horse. I see the horse. Fuck yeah. Okay. A bow and a dipper. There's the bow. Just need to know what a dipper is now, and everything will be great. It's a shame that I have absolutely no clue what it- Oh, what the fuck? I have no idea what that was. By the way, if this hammer lets me open the other panel... Oh my god, there's loads of shit unlocked. I mean, I'm okay with that, but fuck. <laughs> I love it. I love how I have absolutely no idea what that was. Knife, oven mitt, and snail. Ooh. There's the oven mitt. Judging by some of these, right, I would say that we're definitely coming back a fourth time to some of these. Tire jack. Oh, we're going to get the tire jack from this, right? Everything's kind of coming together. Which is good. Because uh, I needed it to. Um... I haven't... Okay, that's a great game, but I don't know what I'm looking for at the moment. My brain is completely frozen. Tricycle? I feel like a tricycle would be easy to spot. It is a spinning top. I feel... By the way, what is with all these objects? It's like, oh yeah, let's get a bunch of objects that no one has used since, like, fucking, you know, like, the last 50 years, approximately. <laughs> and then... <laughs> and just bundle them all together in a fucking room. Uh, ladle, bell, and book. I feel like they should be doable. There's the ladle. There's the book. No, oh, we already did that. Ladle, fuck, bell, I've already got that book. Snail, bell, cork, and spinning top. Fuck. Snail, bell, Cork and spinning top. Like, spinning top. Like, it's so weird that it's even fucking, ex like, exists in the game. There's the cork. There's a s The snail is like a cardboard- Like an origami snail! What are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Why would that- Holy shit! I love it, but I hate it at the same time. Alright, we need to find one of these. Spinning top or bell? <coughs> Uh, 
there's the bell. Hell yeah. Yeah, I don't think I would have seen that. We got a tire jack, I said we would. We found a bunch of things now. Tire jacks for in here, right? Here. I can't get the folder out from under the truck. Why is the tire jack not right for this? I don't understand. Is the hammer right for this? Yeah, sledgehammer, too much. Overkill, but the hammer, totally acceptable. One of the keys we need. And a code that I don't have. Okay, cool. The tire jack makes no fucking sense. I can't, oh, we have to do it from this side? Are you, that's so dumb. Alright, that's fine. Now we can grab the folder. 12 180 96 is a phone number that we need for this puzzle. Twelve one eighty ninety six. Is it for this? No. Got a policeman's badge shaped notch that we haven't seen that before. Hmm. We can't dial a specific number, it looks like. And you can't dial 180 and 96 on those things, so... Huh. Alright, where now? Alright, apparently we're going back this way. I will let the path guide me. In here? Okay, what am I missing here? But I can't dial certain numbers. Is it going to be one? Two. I can dial. Okay. One. Eight. Zero. Nine. I can dial numbers. Six. There we go. Okay. Well. I guess we'll go and answer the phone. Oh, it was a Dagon statue again. Let's see how many of these we fucking got now, by the way. Because holy shit, we got a lot of them. Maybe too many? No, we need one. Oh my god, we need one more. Still. Doing good. Doing good progress. Alright. The question is, where's the last one going to be? We've got a key. Well, we know where that goes. It goes in the boat. Okay. Where now? Died me, game. Let's see where we need to go. I mean, must be nearly done. Into the house we go. Wonder what we're missing here. Upstairs? The cat we can smash with the hammer. And we get the coins for the newspaper machine. It doesn't actually waste the um, hint if you don't if you if you can figure out what to do yourself. We still have the hammer too, by the way. Last night, Jose Diaz, the church watchman, found a young mach mach machinist named Diego Garcia dead. Police say Garcia died of multiple gunshot wounds. The incident is suspicious in nature, as no one believes the kind nature Garcia had any enemies. We express condolences to Diego's wife and children. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Fascinating. 
Anyway, we can open this now. At least I think so. Yes. The last statue. Holy shit. All right, let's go. We're definitely gonna be missing some other stuff, but hopefully it's behind this door. I don't know. I, don't, I mean, we don't know it's gonna be behind the door. This could be the end of the game. The bad ending if we don't like find everything. I don't really know if it has multiple endings. But let's do it anyway. Holy shit. In we go. It's too heavy, I can't lift it. All right, so we need like a rope. Okay. Progress, though. Ah, shit, we got a hidden object game on the first area again. Back in the day, back in my day. I fucked up, I know, I'm getting excited. Cthulhu doesn't like it when you do that, by the way. He gets really upset about it. Cries a little. I wonder if we'll get rope from this. Radio, stopwatch, gas can. Gas can. Radio. Flowers, flippers, stopwatch. Flowers? Yep. Flippers and a stopwatch. Do they mean flipper, flipper, faster than lightning? Because that makes things way more confusing. God, this thing here looks like a butt plug. <laughs> this is stopwatch. We got a weight. Okay. I don't think this is enough. We need a we need a rope and a weight. Right? The question is, where are we gonna find those? I also still have the belt that I've never used, the cigarette case, and a fuse that we've never used at any point. And we have nothing to dig the back thing up with still either, the back passage. <laughs> The graveyard, I mean. We need a shovel or something for that. Nothing standing out. I'm just checking the uh, hidden object areas at the moment. But I don't see anything, genuinely. Uh, we haven't checked the one on the boat. The uh, There's like the one with the karaoke machine and shit. This one. Yep, there's something there. Okay, cool. Alright, violin. We know where that is because I mentioned it last time. Autumn scene. Lovely. A croissant. Croissant. Beautiful. Headphones, rope, and a gift box. There's the headphones. The rope is what we're going to get here. Gift box. Hmm. The treble clef. I saw it before, but I can't remember where it is. Good bollocks. Just knocking around the treble clef was last time. There it is. Strawberry harmonica. God, they like harmonicas in this game, don't they? They're, like, they're really fucking keen on their harmonicas. Fan musical pipes umbrella. Is the musical pipes. Hmm... This one kind of sucks. Fan umbrella. There's the umbrella. Like, it's like a tiny miniature one. There's the harmonica. Gift box, fan, and strawberry. What does a gift box look like exactly, do you think? Music's haunting me again. Ooh. Jesus, I don't see any of these. Um, that was the strawberry. Okay, I just clicked at random there. And there's a different kind of fan this time, which is good because that narrows it down to the gift box, which I probably wouldn't have seen. We got the rope, excellent. All right, well, we, I know what to do with this, I think. I think. We go back to the Dagon door. Jump in here again, through the door. So we're going to put the rope around the hook, and then put the weight on the end of it, right? 
and that. And we got a wrench. Is that what we got? We got a wrench. What the fuck is the wrench for? What have I In fact, we found wrenches- We already had a wrench! There's been times where we've had a wrench already. So what the fuck do we need the wrench for now? I genuinely don't know. Oh! Apparently this, that we only just noticed. Alright, we got a gear. Don't know what that's for either. We haven't, uh, it's not the police badge shape that we had that we need. <coughs> hmm. I'll use the uh, guide in a minute to not guide, well, the hint thing in a minute to progress, make things a bit easier. Come on, Mira. All right, guide us. Oh, we're going backwards. I'm going in here, shit. Alright, we're diving again. Uh... That's where the gear goes. Uh, the belt goes here. Oh my god, we found that so early on. I should... I should some find something to... I need to go and get the tire jack? Okay, that's fine. I'm hoping it's still there. Unless I need to find another tire jack. We're about to find out if we need to find another tire jack or not. Nope, we don't. We can go use that one. Making good progress here, guys. I think we must be near the end. This feels a bit more conclusive, right? What the fuck? That makes no sense, but I'll take it. Great, that's not what I thought would happen, but that's even better. Now I can dive through the hole under the gate. Yeah, great. Brilliant. Okay, that's the wrong way. We got a ominous looking thing here. Oh shit, it's hers! It's Angels! Is that her name? I can't remember, it's been ages. God, I love it when she breathes smoke in my face while wearing my jewelry. Oh wow, this place is a maze. Great. I love mazes. I don't love mazes, just uh that was a lie, if you didn't know. A massive fucking lie. It's locked and I can't bend it with my bare hands. Nothing in here looks interactable. This all looks the same. I fucking hate it. Oh, this doesn't. This must be the end of the road. Angel must be around here somewhere. I hope so. I've seen these symbols before. Oh, they're for the... Th okay, I know what to do. We have to go a long way back, though. God, that is fucking... This is going to suck going back and forth a bit now. But I do know what that's for. Jesus Christ. They really make you work for your fucking time here. Jesus. So that's outside the mansion, that's for. Wrong way. No, no, that is the right way. Second guessing myself now. Just realised something. I don't think I've, uh... Okay. I haven't saved my game this entire time. I hope, uh, it doesn't crash or something. Alright, so it's like... That one. Then it's three. Then it's little cloud. Then it's the other one. And BBB. Oh, 
Oh god, this looks fucking terrible again. Rotating the circles will allow me to position the puzzle pieces in such a way that the symbols on them correspond to the elements in the middle of each circle. <laughs> this... I'm gonna be honest, guys! I don't even know where to begin! <laughs> Alright, I, I understand, kind of. Alright, we've got a boat on there. Alright, what else goes with water? The fish. The fish goes with water. Excellent. What else goes with water? <laughs> Some of these drawings. How am I supposed to know what these are? Is that a water bug? It could be. I don't think a deer, a tree... A... <sighs> No, but the bug surely got to be on the bug one, right? Just like this has got to be on the plant one. And this has got to be on the bug one. Oh, I just realized something. This isn't water. It's, um... I get it. Okay. This is modes of transport. So this is 100% right now. Oh, maybe not. No, it, it, no, it's not. This is wrong. Now that's right. But unfortunately, I need to get this one in here first before I do anything else. I need to get the bug one over there. Right, that's right. Which what, What's wrong? There you go. I did it without needing to skip this time. What the fuck is that? A stone head. Well, let's see where this takes us. I'm gonna guess back underground. Through the dreaded fucking maze of shit. A lot of backtracking here. We still haven't done everything in the main game, by the way. We're still missing some shit. Can't wait to go back and forth through this like 27 times, guys. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be life changing. All right. <coughs> There's gotta be something in here to interact with. Thought these rooms only existed in movies. Yeah, yeah. The stone head goes here. Snake in the middle opened its mouth. I got the police badge. Oh no, the snake leaped up my hand. This place is all secrets, compartments, and traps. At least the grill opened. It did? Can we get out easier now? Did I miss something there? I'm being an idiot. Regardless, we're going to the police station. Fucking hell. Holy shit. Wrong way. The backtracking is real at this point. Jesus Christ. Alright. And the, it's 825. So you slot that in. And then it's 8. 2. Oh my god, we got there. There was something in his hand. It's a key. It's probably the key to the crane, I'm gonna guess. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yep. We're just gonna try the we're just gonna try the crane. We're not gonna waste hints here. I'm pretty sure it must be for the crane. Holy shit, that's insane. Uh, left, forward, right, forward. I fucked that up. Right, forward, forward. Don't know if I did that right, but don't really care. Hell yeah. Crowbar! I, I, I do know where this goes, I promise. Oh, the crate here. What did I get? A battery. What do I need a battery for? I genuinely don't know what this is for. Shit. 
Do I have anything I can use as the handle, by the way? We keep the crowbar. Ah. I'm gonna check something while I'm here. We kept the start key? Oh, because we could have probably used it on the fucking... Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot! We didn't start the crane. Despite all that. I just stared at it a bit. We can do it, we can do it. Everything's fine. God, music, chill out! Jesus! Okay. I can use the crane to install the ramp. What ramp? Is that not a ramp? I don't know what the ramp is, I'm going to be honest with you. This could be a problem. Oh, maybe I have to press this. There we go. Okay. Okay, we can get on the boat. This is not where I thought this was going. We got more hidden objects. Okay, okay, I've got to take it. I've got to take. I'm getting excited again. Another gun, by the way. There's a key card here, which is probably going to be used again at some point. Bracelet. Umbrella, statue, jacket, coin purse. Hmm. Could be another cocktail umbrella, maybe? I don't know. That's the jacket. Statue is a fucking fairly vague one, I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, it's going to be the doorknob that we get from this. I wonder if she's not going to, I wonder if we're never going to go down into that temple again. Because I feel like we're doing other shit now. Statue, coin purse, gun. The statue. Oh, wow, it's a big statue. Jesus. I feel like the gun should be fairly obvious. It was. Got the door knob, like I said. Excellent. The door's closed. It's usually open by turning a valve. There's something in there. What did I find? A part of a round key. The game is... I feel like the game was... I thought the game was nearly over, but... We might have a fair bit to go still. Jesus. Regardless, we have the thing to get to the door in the mansion. Which is good progress. I'm sorry, Snake. You've been stuck in there the whole time. I'll get you out eventually. That's a lie. Got a spade for the graveyard. Hell yeah. Progress, progress, progress. The other half of the thing, it looks like. Yeah. Part of a round key. That's fine. Alright. Now. 
where do I go from here is the question though, because I don't genuinely don't know that question that answer. Because we found shit, which is great. But I don't know. Let the game to tell me, I guess. Oh, we're going back to the cave? I feel like maybe. I would say definitely. Okay. I hate this navigating the fucking maze shit. Oh shit, we haven't been here before. Got a locket. It's a dead end. Yeah, I don't see anything else here. Okay, that's new. Uh -huh. Well, that goes in here. Oh, there's sh shit! It's her! Finally, I get you out in there. What's going on? Who are you? <laughs> I think I might have just fucked this up. She'll be fine. Alright, what now? Everything, I'm freaking out a bit now. We're going to the docks. I can tell you that much. Alright, we've got a hidden object puzzle here. Clicking with a bunch of random shit actually really worked there. Alright, brush, cane, compass, valve. The valve's what we need. There's the there it is. Uh compass. Brush and a cane. There's the brush. Cane is there. Okay, good. Let's go. Valve. Done. Done. Okay, in we go. Battery in here. Maybe? Oh, what the fuck is this? Another fucking hidden object. Alright. That's fine. Fuse flipper submarine. There's a submarine. There's the flippers. Dolphin. We got map, barometer, first aid kit. Barometer. First aid kit. Pocket watch and canteen. That looks like a canteen to me, but I guess not. A barometer's a weird fucking thing. Isn't that used to, like, gauge weather and shit? I guess I suppose on a boat it makes sense. Map. Barometer, canteen, and fuse. Hmm. There's the fuse. Yeah, I wouldn't have said that was a barometer. Okay, another fuse. We have two now. 
That's an air pump. I don't know what that means. Really, I'm going to be honest with you. We haven't been this way yet. Someone pierced the control with an iron bar. The drawer is stuck. I need a tool to open it. Another fuse. We've got three fuses now. This is getting confusing. Haha. <laughs> no time for fun. No, that's true. There's another fuse in here. Anything else in this room? Someone broke some purpose. I have to unscrew it. This has been our go-to, right? All right, this is where the fuse is going. We're missing one fuse. Okay. Something goes here, this. Last fuse we need. Anything else in here? I don't need any of this. I mean, you are prioritizing what you should be prioritizing, I will say. Insert the access card. Well, okay, we know where, we know where, I think we know where to go to find it. Uh, it's going to be a hidden object game. The one out here? Yeah. There's the access card that we need. Bottle. A bottle of water. I'm just clicking random shit, by the way, if you didn't notice. Alright. Jewelry case. A razor. God, that's gonna be... There's the razor. I was gonna say that's be hard to see, but it wasn't. A jewelry case, I'm not so sure on. Uh, apparently, that's, that's... What the fuck? I wouldn't even call that that. There's a fan. A life preserver. A book. Brooch and bucket. Brooch is there. Do I need to cheat? No, I don't. Got the access card. Let's fucking go. Back in here. I love the way we just left her, by the way. She's probably dead. She's probably been eaten by the fishermen. They probably thought she was a fish. It's an easy mistake to make, you know. Engines. The engine's not working. I can't escape. So I can't escape in the submersible. Lower submersible. Open the hatch. Power supply. Emergency power off. Power's on. Now what do I do? I need a code to get in. Four keys appear to be worn down. I must determine the correct sequence of numbers to open the door. One, four, six, eight. How am I meant to know, really? Six, eight, four, one. Eight, six. Oh, okay. Eight. Okay. Eight, four, six, one. There we go. Excellent. There's a submersible. We've got to set it out. Okay. So I only hope for survival. Angel and I can escape in the submersible. I need to launch it first. Okay, that's the hatch open. Can I just go and launch it now? Because the hatch is open, right? Okay. How do I fix the submersible is the next question. Okay. The battery is connected. Now I can go. I already changed the battery. That's fine. How do I go? I need oxygen, otherwise I won't last long. Yeah, I don't really know what I, I can't move out of the screen. All right, game. Okay. What am I doing?
How do I fix? The, I don't understand. How do I fix the engines? Why? I don't understand. Why is it guiding me this much, but then suddenly it's like, fuck, I don't know what to do here at all. We've got a cigarette case, a hammer, and a bracelet there. Nothing else. Everything else has been fucking thrown aside. No time for diving. I thought you said we needed oxygen. Shut up, game! I really hope once this refreshes, we'll have a fucking clue what to do, because I genuinely don't know what to do at the moment. Where was there another hidden object thing? Maybe we need to do another one? No, this was one and we already... Mm, I don't know. I genuinely don't know what to do. The engines aren't working. Okay. Do I need to look at the engines on the submersible? It's worth a shot. All right, that's where the O2 goes in. But the question, I don't, I don't have any. Okay, we're going this way, apparently. All right, don't know where we're going, but it's taking me somewhere, which is good. So I had to raise the submersible so we could look at the oxygen, which actually makes sense. What did I just find? Oh, oh, we need the hose. What do I need the fucking hose for? I'm going to assume something to do with the submersible. I'm going to make an assumption. A bold assumption. <laughs> I have no idea, guys. I have no fucking idea. Holy shit. I don't know. I don't know. What the fuck? Interesting, but wrong. Thanks, game. I appreciate it. I have no idea. Oh, okay. There's an air pump. Okay. We're doing it. Hell yeah! I should plug the wire into the outlet. Where's the fucking outlet? Guys, where's the outlet? Oh, here. Alright, that should be- now I can lower the submersible. Okay, good. Do it. Do it! Oh my god. I don't care about the fucking hose! I don't care about the hose's well-being, okay, at this point in time! Right, now we need to fix the engines, but I don't know how to do it. You can turn this off now, it's fine. I don't know what, what problems that might cause. Why is it just not telling me where to go at the moment? I don't understand why this screen here freaks out so much at the moment. Why? It doesn't know where to go. It doesn't know what I should do. Do I just get on the submerse? I'll just get on it and see what happens. I, I guess that was all I needed to do. Here we go. Come on, Angel. We're gonna make it. Straight down the steps. Face plant. Into the submarine. Hell yeah. We made it. This is gonna be a fish. <laughs> what? You said the engines weren't working! How was, was I misreading that as I can escape in the submersible? Oh, we're turning into a fish, man. Oh shit! <laughs> she stabbed us? What is happening? What a twist! Dagon's like, it's alright. I'm I'll fish you up, okay. <laughs> What a bitch! <laughs> it's a masterpiece. I really enjoyed this. Batshit crazy ending. Loved it.
Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this too. If you did, leave a like. Let me know what you thought in the comment section. You're going to want to see more of these cringy hidden object games. There's millions of them. Um, if you have any recommendations of particularly batshit ones you'd like to see, please let me know. And, uh, yeah. Uh, consider pledging to our Patreon if you can. We need a few more supporters this month in order to hit our goals. Even a buck helps out a lot. It does... Well, it's the only reason this channel really exists. So if you can help us out, please consider doing so. Thanks for listening. Thanks for being Nom. Hope you enjoyed the playthrough. See you later. Bye, Nomkins. I love ya.